welcome back to my YouTube channel, aka Alexis in Life. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite bracelets that I have ever made. If you're new to my channel, please like this video, subscribe, comment below, follow my Instagram, which is Alexis underscore looms, and please check out my Etsy shop, which will be the link will be in the description below. Anyway, anyways, let's not waste another moment and let's get right into this video. So I'm gonna start with um 10 and 10 is gonna be the fishtail bracelet for me. I have so many fishtail bracelets. I've made so many over the years and they're just let me just show you one up close and personal fishtail bracelet they are super simple to make and they're very easy and they take 10 minutes maybe at the most not that much time and the tutorial is by rainbow loom so if you want to learn how to make one of these I recommend it because they are very easy to make number nine on my list is the royal hearts bracelet the tutorial is by the cheese thief this is what the bracelet looks like let me just show you up close that's what it looks like I really liked the color combo for this bracelet honestly like it's super pretty and it was like fun to make I guess that was number nine. Now we're on to number eight, which is the Frazzle bracelet. And the tutorial is by Emerald Looms. This is the Frazzle bracelet. I really enjoyed making this one. I made this like forever ago though. So it's pretty... It's got some years on it, I believe, but I do recommend that you make this bracelet because it's super pretty in the end. On to number seven, which is the, oh gosh, I'm really going to botch this name, but it's the Na, Na, um, natural bracelet that there is no tutorial and I don't remember who um, created this but here is the bracelet I think it's a variation between like two bracelets I honestly I don't remember how to make it which is such a bummer because I would definitely make some more but I made this like forever ago but if you do know how to make it I definitely recommend it because it is such a great and pretty bracelet this is what the back side looks like it looks super funky okay number six is the Kahana bracelet by Rebels Corner this bracelet is super duper pretty I really love the colors that I used for it I believe this is a hook only bracelet I don't remember I did make this bracelet pretty recently it was pretty fun to make so I do recommend you should try it out if you want <sighs> number five 
is the Ruffle Shuffle Bracelet. And the tutorial is by the underscore ultimate underscore crafter. And I have made quite a few of these bracelets. There is quite, I have five of them. This one is personally my favorite. The colors are so pretty. I'll show you all five though because I did dig them up. I like the tie-dye one too. It's pretty. Um, this is also a hook-only bracelet, I believe. And then this brown is the last one that I have. It's a very pretty bracelet. Um, you should make it if you haven't. I think it's pretty simple. I think I remember it just being like a weird kind of single chain, but I haven't made one in quite some time. Okay, number four is the Trapped Fairy lace bracelet and the tutorial is by hamster loomy i'm also not gonna lie i haven't i have not made this bracelet in forever this bracelet is um pretty old it has been around for some time but it is super pretty and you should give it a try even if you're not like amazing with hook only bracelets, it's fun to improve your skills and stuff because I am in no way perfect with hook only bracelets. Like there are some bracelets that I stop making because I can't do it. <laughs> Whew. Okay, number three is the She Whip Bracelet by Jay's Alvarez. At least the tutorial is by him. Now this bracelet is super duper beautiful. Like the colors that I used are so pretty. This is also a hook, a hook only bracelet I believe. You can't really see but there's like a center color that I used like gray for. I I hope I I kind of you could kind of see that. I'm not sure if you did. Number 2 on my list is the skydive bracelet and the tutorial is by Emerald Looms. I have made two of these bracelets. They are super pretty. My personal favorite is the one on the bottom because it looks like Christmas and I absolutely love Christmas and these colors are absolutely stunning together. Okay, so it was kind of really hard for me to pick a bracelet that was number one because I wanted to pick a bracelet that I didn't have anymore so I couldn't show you but I changed my mind because I didn't have it and I couldn't show you so my number one favorite bracelet at the moment is a joy double and the tutorial is by expert underscore looms I love the color combo like I said it looks like Christmas so it's super duper duper beautiful um i'm gonna do some honorable mentions after this i have three honorable mentions that i don't currently have but yeah you should give this bracelet a try it is absolutely beautiful so i am just gonna get on to those honorable mentions so I have picked three honorable mentions. 
The first honorable mention that I have is the Bay Bracelet and the tutorial is by Claire's Wares. I made the most beautiful Bay Bracelet ever, <sighs> but I sold it to Brandon's Loom Teak, so I don't have it anymore. It is very beautiful. I will insert a picture possibly, but yeah. My second honorable mention is the Summer Crown Bracelet by Loves to Loom. It's an absolutely stunning bracelet. Hopefully I can also insert a picture of the one that I made but couldn't find. And my last honorable mention is the Hopes and Dreams Bracelet by Loves to Loom. Absolutely stunningly beautiful bracelet that you should definitely try if you have never made it. I I do have um I do have it, but it just looked like really really old and I didn't want to show you like a really 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 old bracelet. So that's why it's an honorable mention. Honestly, if I did still have the Bay bracelet, that bracelet probably would have been number one on my list because it is absolutely so beautiful but so time consuming but I love it either way so yeah those are my honorable mentions please let me know your favorite bracelet in this video or just your favorite bracelet in general thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please like subscribe comment below Please follow my Instagram, which is Alexis underscore looms, and please check out my Etsy shop, which the link will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!